Hey, it's Kevin Lawton with the New Warehouse Podcast here at Modex 2022. In the booth with me, I have Scott Medford of Mobile Demand, and he's going to talk to us about Mobile Demand. He's going to tell us what Mobile Demand is all about, um, how they got to where they are, and we're going to talk about uh, their product offering, the XDIM, and, and what that's all about as well. So, Scott, welcome to the booth. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, happy to have you on. So, so we're here at Modex. Obviously, you know, uh, innovations, all different kinds of people, all over the place. Uh, mobile demand is here. So, so tell us a little bit about mobile demand and, and what it is you do. Yeah, there's been innovations going on for decades, and oh yeah, it's evidenced by my gray hair, which nobody can see. I've been in it for decades. <laughs> well, they can see, we're on camera. Yeah, they can. <laughs> so, all the way from barcodes to yeah. wireless to speech to RFID and mm. and. Uh, to some of the latest topics that mobile demand has but yeah branched off um, those years and began to put out the first windows tablets mm -hmm. to use in rough environments first it was to put them in trucks for delivery people with right. soda products and water products and things like that and then mm -hmm. as time went by it made them more and more rugged so they'd go in the warehouse environment mm -hmm. the beauty of that is that you begin to take a Windows-based tablet, so you take Windows out of the IT province mm. and put it on the shop floor where it's actually doing the work. Yeah. My background is always founded on the belief that you take the work to where it's done. So the person that does mm. the work is the one who should record the information. Nobody right. in between, no extra write it down, we'll type it up later. That doesn't mm -hmm. fly. Yeah. So putting it on the Windows platform was really a great idea because the IT guys were familiar with it. Mm -hmm. They understand it, they can support it, and everybody has you know, some kind of computer mm -hmm. in current days, not when it started out, but now yeah. they do. <laughs> and so they're all used to it. It takes some of the fear out of it. Mm -hmm. There were handheld devices, portable devices with little keys and function keys and things to memorize and people in big gloves and mm -hmm. mostly in panic about how do I do my job. Yeah. So this alleviates that. But it took time you know, to really get a Windows tablet that mm -hmm. was durable enough to put on a forklift and all the configurations or to put on an HEV or, or a truck, you know, mm -hmm. anything you want to do. Yeah. So we did that, put it all together and began to build uh, some really great tablets and put those out. Mm -hmm. So much so that it caught the attention of other major providers. And so we also make cases okay. for, for common products that you'd see on the street, mm -hmm. like Microsoft Surface or things like that, right. or a Lenovo. Mm -hmm. So we make cases for them now and you know, ruggedize those tablets so they can function in the same environment. People who've already invested in a lot of tablet devices could buy cases to put on. Mm -hmm. And by adding those cases, we also enabled some technologies. Look at the case as both protective and an exoskeleton. So we put mm -hmm. scan engines on them, we put yeah. RFID readers, contactless card readers for retail, you know, so you can line bust or buy your sandwiches there and pay for it on the spot. Yeah. And, you know, the people that use them, uh, many times kids, they're not paying much attention. And so <laughs> there was a lot of attrition until we said, we can make that box tougher. Yeah. So we did that and began to move along, along the uh, ecosystem there. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But we also looked at and, and launched just this year, just a few months ago, really, mm -hmm. uh, our uh, software package of our own. Mm. The rest of them just run whatever you want to put on it in the Windows environment, and we thought right. we can capitalize. So we built a package that does dimensioning. Okay. And that was a further step. Yeah, so dimensioning is taking the measurements, and, you know, your classic mm -hmm. way is you have a tape measure and a piece of paper, mm -hmm. and you go to it and see how big all the boxes and packages are. Mm. There are dimensioning systems that are on conveyor systems, you know, coming right. in. It's all neat and tidy and, and claps and everything, but yeah. outside of that, there's a lot of things that you really have to worry about mm -hmm. getting it right. Yeah. So we came up with this system that actually puts a 3D camera on the tablet. We call it XDIM for X mm. Dimension. Right. And we take a picture of it, a snapshot in a second, mm -hmm. and it'll give you the, the length and width and breadth and all that. We mm. also enable it so that it can be tied to a Bluetooth scale. Yeah. And so we have a, a little scale that goes with it, so you can carry that out, connect, mm -hmm. get the weight. You can take a picture with that camera, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so you have a picture of, here's what it looked like when it left, yeah. or here's what it looked like when it came in. Mm -hmm. And so you can really track all those pieces, and you upload that through the cloud into mm -hmm. uh, your typical cloud of the sky somewhere where all the data in the world resides. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere up somewhere there. Somewhere right? up there. I'm sure there's a cloud <laughs> looking yeah. down. 
And once you get in the cloud, it's some simple APIs and you can extract that data, put it in your warehouse management system, your TMS, mm -hmm. wherever you want to use that, and you have instant access and accountability. Mm -hmm. The beauty of that is in tying all the pieces together, because now there's several areas where it comes into play. Receiving, mm -hmm. so you're receiving things in, you look at it and you think it's not what I was expecting. Yeah. Or maybe it's a new product, you know, you're buying mayonnaise or ketchup and they're always saying, we're going to give you bigger bottles, 20% mm -hmm. free, and you think, that's really not good in a warehouse. Yeah. It just messes <laughs> everything up because yeah. you've changed it. So you can receive things in, get the measurements correctly, mm -hmm. and put it away, tell your warehouse management system. And the beauty then is when you issue an order to go pick it, mm -hmm. it says, I need all these boxes. This will make the tie and high correct on a pallet, right. and it'll work. Mm -hmm. Without that, and I've watched this happen, It'll go pick what's there, thinking it's X number of inches high. Mm -hmm. And when they get to the dock door or the truck, yeah. it's about three or four inches too tall. And you think, oh, that's going to be gonna bad. Work. Yeah. yeah. And so you're either faced with short shipment, which mm -hmm. is bad, mm -hmm. or paying for air because mm -hmm. you have to take you know, these fewer parcels. Yeah. So we're really hitting a nerve there with a lot of people. They're looking at that and thinking, this is pretty cool. Yeah. We've been... Um, Fortunately, this is a good thing. We've been overrun in our booth with people coming by. We've got a That's big good. screen TV to show them how it works, and they stand yeah. there and look at it. And yeah. we get some interesting comments. We got one mm -hmm. um, day before yesterday said, I'm never going to pick up a tape measure again. <laughs> it's just, this is so much easier. And you don't have to, you know, you measure it and then you have to stop and write it down and yeah. all that. And it's yeah. just, and that's painful. Yeah. So um, those are the things that make it work well. Mm -hmm. There are systems out there that we. Um, we'll slowly be replacing. I mean, there are systems that, you know, some contraptions that sit over in a corner and gather some dust, and right. you can take it across there, but you're in a million square foot warehouse. So yeah, you've got a, you've got a box. Get done. Or, yeah. yeah, it doesn't get done. So they go mm. over there, and, and I actually saw an application and said, how do you account for these rogue boxes? I said, well, mm. about once a month we issue orders, yeah. and we send them out there, and they go pick all these different products, load them up, take them to the far side of the warehouse, measure them all, get the dim straight. Yeah. And then the next day we do an RMA. Mm. And they take all those pallets and they go back and they put all that away on the shelves again. Mm. Kevin, the whole point of, of automation is to save time. I yeah, mean, yeah. I look at everything that we do, everything that I've done over the decades, and it's all about the ROI is saving the time. Right. The, the people need, they've got something to do. There's no shortage of work to do. Yeah. So, um, you're tying up a person, you're tying up a supervisor, all these different things. Just said, continue the, continue the progress. Mm -hmm. Take the tablet, take the camera, walk over where you find a box, measure it right there. Yeah. And that's, um, we think that's really innovative. And, and uh, as I said, the attraction here at the show has been, I think they agree with that. So we're having a good time. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think it's such a, a smart uh, evolution of the tape measure. You know, right. We're, we're going in the right direction there, and I think the fact that it, it, it's portable, I mean, I think, is a is a huge thing because you know I've certainly been involved in projects in, in my career as well where, you know, dimensions have been uh, a critical thing to make the system run. Um, right. You know, I've implemented uh, multi shuttle systems and things, and, and the dimensions need to be in there. And I've gone from, you know, having zero dimensions on products to needing to have dimensions on everything. And and when the dimensions are, are not there, um, it, it can throw everything off. It can throw your, your whole operation off the flow uh, you can't even uh, really get that that product to, to move through the system because the system will say no 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 like I yeah. don't know what yeah. size is this um, so when you try to get those dimensions updated and, and get them inputted into the system it's just like you said you, you run around grabbing a box of each one maybe you're out of stock of one item so you got to wait till it comes back in stock and you know it, it's it's all over the place and, and being able to just go you know location location capture those dimensions right there at that point um, it certainly makes it a lot faster and a, and a lot easier of a, of a task to do I think as well and you know yeah. you go back to the the uh, the tape measure example you know even when you're, you're measuring you may send somebody out to, to measure and they may get uh, you know 12 inches in an eighth and then somebody else might get 12 inches in a 16th or something and it, you, you're not lining up and you know maybe that uh, eighth or 16th of an inch could it could make a difference at the end of the day so so the fact that you guys have come up with this and, and made it 
portable, I think, is really the, the huge value point there. And I, and I think, you know, seeing that people are interested, I think it's definitely a, a need in the, the marketplace. So, so, I mean, how do you think that people will start to adopt this? And I, I guess, you know, how does the, the platform itself, does it have an integration to, to other systems so that they can easily input the, the dimensions or is it just strictly measuring? Um, well, the input really comes because we're uploading the, all the data to the cloud. Right. We just give them a, a simple API, just some REST commands. Gotcha. Okay. And so they're really just extracting it and putting mm -hmm. it into their current system. Because their system has columns and blanks set up for, you know, what are the dimensions, what are yeah, the weights, width, all cube, that. Yeah, and so we just start filling it in for them. Mm -hmm. And that makes it simple. But the application itself is just the algorithms it takes to gather all that data out of a 3D camera right. and replace it with an electronic tape measure. Hmm. In fact, I've given a couple of guys, we have tape measures to give out and say, here's your backup system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you just have to, yeah. go out there and measure it. But, yeah. you know, you hit on some points, both in audits and correcting mm -hmm. all the materials there. And there's some other benefits that are really getting some attention because mm -hmm. buying the shipping and transportation knows if you ship something, you tell a common carrier, it's here's the dimensions, here's the size, here's the weight. Mm -hmm. The common carrier gets it and looks at it, and those have right. some big names. A lot of them start with U's. And, mm -hmm. um, so they'll look at that, they'll measure it themselves, they'll say, we need more money. Mm -hmm. Lied to us. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You mistakenly told us the size here, and yeah, so we need more I've money that. for that. Yeah. And by the way, here's a hefty fine to remind you that's going to happen. And mm -hmm. I, I'm amazed. I've heard some fines lately. They're talking about on an annual basis, mm -hmm. $200,000 a year. Not out of the question. That's at crazy. All. Yeah. You know, they ship so many boxes, and there's so much money at stake there. So it's a, it's a penalty avoidance system as mm -hmm. well as just making your life easier. Yeah. Um, and making your life easier. Maybe even some OSHA. I saw in a place they had the, mm -hmm. the wrong measurements, and the guy said, "Come up here and just watch what happens with our current system." Mm -hmm. And so they picked all these items, loaded them on pallets, and we watched them driving toward the dock door. And sure enough, the first one there looked up, realized mm -hmm. it wouldn't go through the door, climbed up the stack of boxes and pulled a couple off till it would fit, put them on the floor, drove the truck in, laid it down, went out and got the boxes, went mm -hmm. back in the truck, put them up there, and I'm sitting there calculating and said, so how much does this guy make an hour? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. How many and times how many? And the savings were just unbelievable. So yeah. it's, you know, technically it's a marvel, but it's all mm -hmm. back to it saving time and that saves money and mm -hmm. then you can get on with it. So yeah. it's it's a lot of fun. You can tell I'm in a good mood with this. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I've uh, I brought a lot of technologies to market. Mm -hmm. This is this is one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely, uh, I think it's uh, groundbreaking in the sense that the portability, as I mentioned, and being able to put that 3D camera on a, on a tablet and, and really have that flexibility to where you want to use it in the operation and, and yeah. maneuver it, uh, I think, in, a, in an easy way. Um, so now, are, are there any limitations in this sense of uh, how big of an item can it measure? Yeah, there are. Current ones, we mm -hmm. run from about 30 to 50 inches by 6 inches at the smallest dimension. Mm -hmm. And we'll expand on that, but not a lot. Uh, there's not a lot of boxes or packages bigger than that. And we've got a mm -hmm. secondary system or, or a second phase of it where we do some long parts like mm. think about bumpers for autos that are going through auto parts stores and, yeah. and so some things get really long and really awkward and, and we mm -hmm. may have to take two pictures yeah. take a shot, move a couple of feet, take another shot, stitch okay. the two together and get the information like that mm. and there's things, there's plans to go to uh, you know to bigger devices, mm -hmm. bigger things we do we, we've got a couple that are overheads but primarily the function is how do you just take care of the basic business of right. distribution, warehousing, and supply chains? And hmm. Fix one thing at a time. It's always, you may not fix everything, but if yeah. you can fix something, you're better off. So just do what you can do and, and reduce the things that fail. Hmm. All right, very interesting stuff, and you know it's great to learn about this. And, and you know, I've certainly uh, had some uh, dimension headaches in my in my life in my career. So so it's good to hear about this uh, the solution you guys are bringing to the market think what you should do is, is after your podcast is over come down and see it we'll show you okay we'll try and stop by today then you yeah, have an before invitation we close up. all right i appreciate it and, and i want to thank you so much for for coming by the boost scott and if people want to find out more information about mobile demand how can they do that oh they can find uh, ruggedtablets.com that's mm -hmm. the primary address for it or they can i'm, I'm hoping that you publish my name and phone number somewhere and they can find me 
sure. I've got a I got a staff all over the place. We're worldwide in coverage, mm -hmm. so we can uh, help anybody anywhere. All right, great, and we'll put all that information at thenewwarehouse.com as well. So, Perfect. Scott, once you thank you once again for coming by the booth today, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it.